Hey everyone, it's me, that Lego guy. Today, no reviews, no random collections of stuff, although kind of it is. Today I'm doing a video on Fortnite. I made some custom figures of characters that are in the game and they actually look pretty similar to them, some of them more so than others. Plus I made some custom weapons from it that I think look de really good to decent to crazily simple. But let's take a look at our first figure and have him display some of the weapons. First up here, we have Mr. John Wick. Not the fake John Wick from like Season 3, Battle Pass the Reaper. This is actual movie John Wick from Chapter 2, Season 5. Or just John Wick. I use the just plain black legs. You aren't going to have trouble finding them at all. I used hair from Hunt. I got mine from Hunter from the Bad Batch set, but it's pretty common hair piece. It came with a Yule Ball Ron and Peter Pettigrew, but that's a redhead version. You just need a black one. Black arms and beige, and not beige, skin tone hands. That's pretty common. Head I got from 2016 Doctor Strange because it was the best one I had just laying around. And the torso I got from, or really just the torso, arms, hands, waist, and legs, I got from Bruce Banner from Infinity War, and he was also in the Thor Ragnarok set in 2017 of the Grandmaster ship. <coughs> Alright, our first weapon, you can count this as whatever you want. I'm just gonna say it's a machine pistol. It's just this handgun piece used in Star Wars a lot to represent DC seventeen pistols, although they already have their own version that I sadly don't have that I sadly don't have, but yeah. Right there you got it. It's it's just a simple pistol, that's all. Alright, next up is the hunting rifle for this. I just used let me just get it right here. This old musket piece. That's, that's it. It's just a musket piece. You can give it to a Tuscan Raider and it'll work well. They did have it in the brick heads for that, which is a really great set. Planning on getting it soon for a review, so stay tuned for that one. And I think now I'm going to swap figures. Next up is the most recent of these, because that's Chapter 2, Season 5. The other one is from Chapter 3, Season 1. This is from Chapter 4, Season 1. It's the Doom Slayer. I tried to make it the video game version, so he has, like, some bare skin there. I used arms from Robin and Lego Batman movie for the lime top and the skin bottom. Regular black hands. Legs I took from Miles Morales' mech set, because he has gray on top, black on the bottom for boots, which is perfect. Torso I use from Mandalorian, but sometimes I actually rotate it, so I have the back and front, so there's no indents, in, but it looks better with the belt buckle like that. Then I took the helmet and mask from an aim agent, and then a black head from Mandalorian as well. Although at first I used a head from Garmadon from Lego Ninjago movie backwards, so it was just plain black. Gun, first gun I'm going to show him with is the only shotgun on this list. I tried to make a pump, but it didn't look that good. But here I have attack. I didn't have enough pieces in red, but you just need one of these pieces in dark gray, the gun here. Then I used a light gray lightsaber hilt and one of these clips that goes to the side. That's one stud big. It would definitely look better. I have the red lightsaber hilt, but not the clips. And doing anything with that, the right colored clip looked a bit weird, so I chose not to do that. And... This is something with a bit of a, less of a punch. This is a thermal assault rifle. It's a bit different than a regular one, but it has this scope that you can fold out, which looks pretty nice. And it's pretty simple. What I did here was use one of these uh, um, gray, light gray studs with a hole in it. One of these three stud long poles. One of these pieces. I use them a lot. They're pretty versatile. Regular gray stud. Another gray stud with a hole in it, one of these claw pieces, and then one of these bar pieces for the handle. Put it in there and connected them, so looks pretty good, I think. Alright, now I think I'm going to swap figures again. So, I got Doom Slayer slash, if you know the story of him, BJ Blaskowitz the third. Yes, I know his real canon name. Lastly, we got good old Spooter Man. But yeah, I used dual molded legs with red at the bottom. The torso from the like really common 2011 Spider-Man figure. Head from, I'm pretty sure it's the one from the advent calendar, the Avengers one, that had him and his Letterman jacket in it. And then just regular blue arms and red hands. Not that hard, but I think it looks pretty good combining it with other stuff. Firstly, just a regular old scar, but this one is going to be in black. It does have a good amount of differences. The other one, like here, let me hold him, have him hold it up there. Another beam there, stud with a hole in it, but then another stud with a hole, but then just another regular stud. And then, oh, and he dropped it. His arms are a bit loose because the torso is really old, but 
let's see, one stud there, one stud there, one regular stud there, then this piece with the bar in black, then another regular stud, then another regular stud, then one of these weird bar pieces, I don't know what they're called there. And now lastly, my most recent one of these weapons I built is an RPG. I don't think it looks that good. The rocket, I don't have any olive green pieces, so it didn't look that good in that department, but right here, let me grab it for you. It has two holding areas, but you can't hold both at the same time because it'll look weird, but there we go. Got them right there. I used one of the gun pieces that has two studs on the side, two studs on the top, two studs on the other side, one stud on the back, one stud on the front, and an anti-stud on the bottom. Used one of these cone pieces, two of these grill pieces, one on the other side. One of these one by 2 jumper plates, one of these guns I call jowl guns, and then this axle piece there. And he puts it over his shoulder. It looks pretty much like an RPG, so there. Yeah. Alrighty, that's the end of my Fortnite showcase. Hope you guys enjoyed this. So you can build all this stuff on your own if you want. Have a good day. Thanks for watching, and see you next week. Bye.